Superior oblique myokimia is a neurological disorder affecting vision and was named by Hoyt and Keane in 1970. It is a condition that presents as repeated, brief episodes of movement, shimmering or shaking of the vision of one eye, a feeling of the eye trembling, or vertical slash tilted vision. It can present as one or more of these symptoms. Diagnosis is most often made by the elimination of other conditions, disorders or diseases. Onset usually occurs in adulthood, and the course is benign and is not commonly associated with other disorders. Causes In 1983, Bring Ewald postulated that superior oblique myokimia resulted from vascular compression of the trochlear nerve, fourth cranial nerve, which controls the action of the superior oblique muscle in the eye. By 1998, there had been only one reported case of compression of the trochlear nerve by vessels. More recently, magnetic resonance imaging experiments have shown that neurovascular compression at the root exit zone of the trochlear nerve can result in superior oblique myokimia. Treatment Treatment can include pharmaceutical or surgical means. The drug carbamazepine, Tegretol, has been used successfully. Other drugs used with variable success include gabapentin and, recently, memantine. Successful surgery options include superior oblique tenectomy accompanied by inferior oblique myectomy. However, overall, the bulk of the ophthalmic literature would agree with the viewpoint that invasive craniotomy surgical procedures should be justified only by the presence of intractable and absolutely unbearable symptoms. Sami Etal and Sharwi and Sami described a patient who had superior oblique myokimia for 17 years. The interposition of a Teflon pad between the trochlear nerve and a compressing artery and vein at the nerve's exit from the midbrain led to a remission lasting for a follow-up of 22 months. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.